Hi everyone, welcome to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to show you my Lego clock. But first, I'd like to thank you for the support on my last video, in which I discussed some plans for the future. And I received lots of positive comments and also lots of ideas for new creations, such as arcade games or a safe, so I will be building those things. But now, let's focus on the clock. As you can see, it's sort of a cube, um, and I tried to make this part as round as possible. This is for indicating the minutes, and this one is for the hours. So if you turn it around, you see these red arrows, some kind of design feature <laughs> on the sides, and on the back, you can see the old 9 volt motor. Over here, you can see a small part of a power functions rechargeable battery box, with which you can turn it on and also plug it in. So there's a port here which you can connect it to the adapter. Um, and you usually do put in so that you can maintain the, uh, the battery voltage. So if you turn it on, you might already hear it, uh, but you can't see it turning of course because it runs very slowly. To show you how accurate it is, I made a time lapse in which it sends to a standard working alarm clock. Let's take a look on the inside. You can easily pull off the roof. As you can see, the old 9 volt motor is positioned over here. And it is connected to the power functions rechargeable battery box, which you can turn on with this green button. I've also used it in the highest speed, uh, but before ending up with this combination of gears and speed, I did try out around 25 different combinations, but this one was the most accurate. So if I turn it on, you see that all the gears start turning. And I'm not going to tell you all the different conversions I used, but I will show them in the screen. Um, but if you follow them, uh, you end up at this black gear, which is used for indicating the minutes. So this, here you can see that. And after the black gear, there are a few more gear conversions to show to slow it down 12 more times for indicating the hours. It is now quite accurate and it runs ahead around 15 seconds in one complete hour. Thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy, you can let me know by hitting that like button. And if you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments below. From now on, I also have an Instagram account, which is called Super Lego Sam, on which I will regularly post updates on my channel and creations. So be sure to follow that. For now, I'd like to say, Thank you for watching, I hope to see you next time, and bye.